Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm Eleni. I'm Tasha. Oh, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just a little nervous, that's all. You're a little nervous? Yeah. What happened? Um, I've never been on a blind date before. <laughs> oh. Wow. Sounds yeah. impressive. What about you, though? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm just normal. It's actually my first time here, but I'm just normal. Okay, uh, I'm Natasha, I'm 32, I'm a chef by profession, but I love food so much. Oh. So yeah, that's a whole different journey for me. Oh, that's quite interesting. I'm millennial. <laughs> I'm actually 29 years old. Um, let me say I'm an academic. Okay. Yeah, I'm an undergraduate student, both universities, University of Science and Technology, University of Namibia, doing different things, of course, of which I'm I'm never really comfortable to talk about to just anybody, so it takes time for me to come out. Yeah. But I mean, it's going person. Like, I love fun. I love fun. Yeah, I'm really nervous. But, but um, feel it. Feel, feel, feel it is. Feel it is. <laughs> be, be is. Be is who you are. Feel it is. Yeah. <laughs> don't you be hard on yourself. Yeah, don't be hard on yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. <laughs> Let's start to say So we'll start with medium. Medium. Yeah. Oh, whatever that is, I don't know. Should I like? I'll take care of myself. Plate? I'll take care of myself. <laughs> oh, thank you, by the way. Ah, it's a pleasure. Oh. Okay, so let's start. I'm so nervous. Oh no, don't be nervous. <laughs> so let's start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Feel at home and feel at peace. <laughs> okay. I hope you're gonna enjoy this. Me too. Because I'm going to enjoy it. I like the panna with fat though. Oh. Yeah, always. Oh. It's making sense. <laughs> what do you mean it's making sense? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, like for real, it's really making sense. <laughs> I'm going to explain later. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, question number one. Yeah. Have you ever cheated? If yes, why? Yeah, I did. Because um, I'm definitely a human being. I get tempted. When I see people around, um, it's like we are, we, are, we are mammals, right? Human beings. And I'm a You're guy. You're men. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, not, not like as a man. I mean, we are mammals. Yeah. And mammals are actually not entitled to one mating partner. So basically, yeah, shit happens and you get tempted and you want to you wanna smack it. Not really, not really that... It's something that you do intentional, but yeah, it, it did happen to me. I won't lie about it, but it doesn't mean that I love my partner less or something. No, but it did happen. Okay. Yeah. Noted. Yes. I want you to be honest with me this time around and okay. be open and tell me the truth. Like something that for, for the longest or for the shortest that we've known each other that you like about me and that's something that you actually gonna be honest with that you might not tell anybody else but an open stranger like me you have a nice smile though oh. <laughs> no doubt about that and tell you something that i don't normally tell other people what can you just clarify on that it can be anything that you are ready to open up to a perfect stranger just like <sighs> you think that's the thing uh -huh. it also takes a while for me to get comfortable before i really 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 open up like that oh. so i think let's save that for the end of the day oh. share with your partner an embarrassing moment in your life oh wow me being kicked out of the house by my father like yo nigga, get out what of here what did you do though um it's growth it comes with being a teenager yeah yeah okay how many sexual partners have you heard <gasps> Um, to be honest, I literally had four serious relationships in my, my whole entire 32 years. Uh -huh. So starting from my teenage years, when I was 18, I had my first real relationship uh -huh. and that was my first, you know, mm -hmm. and um, going into my 20s and into my early 20s my late 20s and now in my 30s my last relationship was two years ago mm -hmm. and 
So I can honestly say my four boyfriends was my four sexual partners. I feel like um, if I had to give my body to someone again, it has to be with someone that I know there's a future, like going forward from here onwards. So yeah. I hope you're being I very hope honest. that. Uh, yes. Okay. I'm not surprised. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's quite fascinating to hear. Okay. Because at your age and you have actually four sexual partners. I mean, I mean, oh wow, that's that's like a wow. Because you don't hear that every day, or yeah. nah. Yeah, it's quite unusual. Do I not look like someone that only had four partners? <laughs> no, 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 I, I basically don't want my answer to come out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so. Shall we go another round? <laughs> With me. Okay, you go first. I hope you're gonna enjoy this. Uh, it's getting hotter as we go down the line. Enjoy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. This is humbling. That is spicy. It's really humbling. And that's only number three. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I have a very interesting question for you. <laughs> Bring it on. I mean, it might be as interesting as it might be to me. <laughs> you okay. <clears throat> when was the... <laughs> When when was the last time you masturbated? <laughs> when? Wow. That's like something that I do. Really, so. That's something that was. <laughs> that was a joke. I remember um, that was back. Um, when was that? Because I made a vote to myself never to do it again. Never again. I think it was actually the 19th of November 2019. <laughs> Lies. No, I mean, like, I remember very well because I made a vote to myself. Uh, yeah. This basically, okay. this basically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut ties with this. So, never again in my life. Oh my God, um, these questions yeah. are getting heated. It really, it really worked for me. <laughs> it really worked for me. Okay. And actually, I and how have you been coping with that? <laughs> and, uh, you will switch off from all habits. <laughs> okay. From watching pornography and stuff, you know. Yeah. Distractions. This, My this. bad for laughing though. It's just so, wow. these questions like, are getting a little the, like out of the blue. You decided to ask me that. Like, <laughs> is there no any other better question apart from that? <laughs> or you basically just as, me to tell this, you that as the sources are getting spicier, the questions are getting heated. Let's do this. <laughs> ask me my question. <laughs> I should ask you your question. Don't you think like having kids is a lot of a whole lot of responsibility on its own? I am a mom though. Oh. So I have experience in that. I oh. am a mom. Uh -huh. I have a son. Mm -hmm. So that's nothing new to me. Oh. Interesting. So basically you just gave me somehow somewhere a hint of what you're really looking for. Yeah, basically. And your journey looks so promising to getting there. And I'm gonna make it happen. You're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. Oh. We're trusting the process. Trusting the process. Yeah. It's gonna What about you happen. though? What about me? Um, I'm a family man. I have a son. That's who I take nice. care of. And basically, I'm looking forward to have a wife. It's gonna okay. be nice to me, but I mean, not anytime soon. Because I've got a whole lot of basics to, to fulfill. Yeah. And after that, then yeah, I'll be like, oh, dad, mom. I got you, daughter-in-law. Maybe you want me to introduce her to you, or how to go about it, right? Yeah. And I don't know who this person might be, but it seems like they are in this environment right now as you speak. Okay. Yeah, because the energy isn't lying, and I believe oh, we, we need to talk about it. Energy never lies, though. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Notice. If you believe in it, <laughs> then it's gonna yeah. happen. <gasps> Woo! 
Okay. Oh, excuse you. That was a mistake, though. Here you go. Thank you. Okay, this is nerve wracking. Let's do this. Are we gonna take shots afterwards? Or not? Um, shots. It depends. One. It depends. Whether they're gonna be shots or maybe a shot. <laughs> but it depends. My mood seems to be great so far. For me to and it's shots, about yeah. to rain. If it rains, then it the rains. The mood is right. Yeah. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, let's do this. This is like some um one of those seasons whereby you basically just wanna um around with people that who truly matters to you, right? And cheers. Looking forward, you're gonna be like one of those people. By the look of things. Mm -hmm. Wow. I might just took a piece no. of liver. It's really delicious, but. I think that one is not that heavy, though. Why? That sauce. It's not that heavy. I can't really differentiate. <clears throat> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? Simply because <clears throat> it is what it is. Okay. Yeah. So. Let me move on to my next question. If you if you were to die this evening, right, with no opportunity to communicate with anyone, what would you most regret not having told someone? That one thing to that one person. Oh, I'll regret actually telling my not telling my son that my life is over and he's just began. I will regret that. Yeah. I'll regret that. Yeah. But yeah, I mean as an essence, you won't really think about it. Do you think about death? About death? Yeah. I try not to. Okay. Um. Is you ready? How about you have a shot? Huh? How about you have a shot? You want me to have a shot? Yeah, we can have shots. We can have shots together though. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me just do this. Let me, let me help you. Let me help you. Being a chain woman. I'm really an alpha female, so that's kind of that interferes with everything because I always want to do things on my own for myself, you know. So, oh. yeah, that's a whole new adjustment if I have to bring someone into my space. He's I'm sorry for that. Oh. <gasps> These shots are big, though. It's just a shot. <sighs> okay. One head. One head. What are we cheering to? To the blind date show? <laughs> no, we are cheering to the new beginning. Okay. Oh, you want to propose a toast? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is a toast to the new year. This is a toast for meeting on the blind dating show. Uh, may we have a prosperous year and may we only receive the blessings that we deserve. Oh, cheers. <laughs> The bus cool. It's, it's, it's not too hot, mm. but it's really it is. It's hot though. No, oh, I'm liking it. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Because actually, my tongue isn't responding. It's those two ones that are left that I'm really scared of. Have you ever been in love before, and why didn't it work out? Yeah, yeah, I've been in love before. Um, the reason why it basically didn't work out was because of the distance that kept yeah, us apart. Yeah, that sucks. Hey, I hate distance so much. So, yeah. But it's nothing to blame on anybody. We happen to be two people in love who have happened to be in two wrong places yeah. at the same time. So their physicality you know that chemistry the bond it's not there somewhere somehow. it is there but it's not really there yeah you we both started not feeling the energy of being in love yeah or being in a relationship it doesn't mean when you're not in a relationship you have stopped loving each other yeah but you just can't be together simply because of various reasons if you ever had anal sex ah. if not why not 
I've never tried it before. I'm a very freaky person. I'm a very sexual person. But I've never tried it before because I spoken to other girls of mine and they were like, no, it's painful. And what if it's actually beautiful? Pain? What? <laughs> no. Um, I think maybe one day when I'm with a partner and I'm comfortable enough uh -huh. to the point where we really, really, really explore things. Uh -huh. But at the moment, it's just not my kind of thing right now. Oh. Yeah. This thing you says excited? black mamba. You excited? Oh. Yeah, because this is I the mean, most I like. I haven't eaten anything chili this much in one day. Really? Kapana spice? Does that <laughs> qualify? That's all. When I eat kapana, that's all. Oh. I feel like this one's gonna burn though. You're such a friendly lady. Happy soul. Am I? Yeah. Thank I envy, you. I envy that in you. That's so nice. I wonder who you get to share that with. I, I wonder too. Okay, so my last question mm -hmm. is When did you last cry in front of another person? I won't lie about it because I don't find reasons to cry. Like You're not a crier? Nah. I'm a crier though. I'm not emotional. I cry all the time. Okay. My emotions don't speak to me in such a manner that I end up shedding tears. Because I'm, 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 I'm sort of I'm, I'm a mixture of different beliefs. I, I, I believe some, somehow I'm a gangster, somehow I'm a religious <laughs> You're person, a gangster? <laughs> somehow I'm a quieto, somehow I'm, you know. So basically, but what dominates my whole individuality as a human yeah. being is like this gangster thing. It's too much on me. In our culture, as, 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 as blacks, especially being bamboos, a guy crying is like, yo, what the hell, man? Yeah. Nigga, what's He's up? He's considered as soft. Like, like, <clears throat> what the hell? What's wrong with you? But then at the end of the day, what we do and how we communicate emotionally behind closed doors is between me and you. The rest of the world doesn't have to know about that. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. That's exactly. It. For the time that we've been here, I really, I really enjoy chatting to you. Yeah, so me I'm, too. So I'm actually, I'm actually um, interested in proposing that we'll meet again. Maybe can we have a second date or something like that? Can, can we have can a second you, date? Maybe I can see you again. Um, yeah, we can do that. It's cool. It's chill. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. You got to it. I'm always up for meeting new people. That's my thing. I like meeting new people. All right. So. I enjoyed our date, I enjoyed our conversation, I enjoyed this whole experience, so yeah, why not? Awesome. Oh, oh yeah, check me. I really want to meet you once again. I'm really happy meeting yeah, you. Awesome. Alright, great. Thanks so much. <laughs>